Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, July 17th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. That is two soggy Sundays in a row. Well, hopefully we do get a break from the heat. I used the rain day to install a new modem and router, and that's just a little peek into the excitement that is my life. Anyhow, we do have a bunch of news this morning, so shall we? And just a quick reminder, in case you're not signed up, we do have a daily news recap newsletter. It's new, it's local, it's free, and it hits your inbox at 7 p.m. every night. I'm going to drop a link to sign up right here in the show notes. Just scroll down a little bit. Now, late on Friday, the Annapolis police released information about a rape of a teenager along Compromise Street in the historic district of Annapolis. The incident happened two weeks ago in the evening hours when a 15-year-old female told police that an unknown male approached her in the 100 block of Compromise Street. This is by the Yacht Club in the Annapolis Waterfront Hotel. The suspect grabbed her from behind and forcefully walked her across the street to Newman Street, where he sexually assaulted her and left the area. Police said there was no description of the suspect. Annapolis Go is gone. The cool little ride share that was in place for the reconstruction of the Hillman Garage is no more. If you are looking to get around, the Purple Shuttle, the Bird Scooters and Bikes, and the Little Golf Cart Trolley are all still going strong. And as for Annapolis Go, the city was looking to see if they can replicate it with their own forces a little bit later this year because they did realize it was very popular. So you want to stay tuned. Hey, do you know what happens when a nursing home fails to meet basic Medicare standards? They get shut down and essentially have to evict their patients. And that's exactly what happened to Autumn Lake's South Haven facility near Heritage Harbor in Annapolis. They lost their Medicare eligibility on July 7th and forced 115 residents to find another Medicare-compliant facility. Autumn Lake said that that facility was, quote, independently owned and that they had no bearing on their other facilities. Now, the company does have 55 facilities across the country with 38 in Maryland and five right here in Anne Arundel County. There's two in Glen Burnie, one in Crofton, one in Gambrels, and one right here in Annapolis off of Hilltop Lane. And in much better news, after being closed for more than a year due to a fire, Sailor Oyster Bar has started to rebuild. They broke the news on Instagram on Friday, and there is no time frame for the completion, but it is so good to see them moving forward once again. Hey, congrats to your Annapolis Blues. On Saturday night, the local professional soccer team defeated the Alexandria Reds 4-2 to to win the Mid-Atlantic Conference Championship. Nearly 8,500 fans were on hand to witness what many said was the best professional sports game they had ever seen. Up next for the Blues is the regional semifinal to be played here on July 21st against Westchester. If successful, the Eastern Regional Final is on the 22nd. And then the National Semifinal and Final is on July 29th and August 5th, respectively. Go Blues! Tickets went on sale Friday for the second annual Annapolis Songwriters Festival, and it looks to be off the charts good this year. The big name headliners include Marty Stewart, James McMurtry, and Blondie. And while exciting, the real treat is to see a lot of the up and coming acts, including many local ones, and to hear from songwriters who have written some of the best songs ever. Ramshead has not announced a headliner for Saturday evening at City Dock just yet, but if I was a gambling man, I am thinking Josh Ritter. And that's just pure speculation on my part, and it's not based on anything other than a guess. There will be plenty of free events as well over the four days and several ticketed ones. Tickets and passes, including VIP ones, are available now at AnnapolisSongwritersFestival.com. And also on Friday, the Renaissance Festival put their tickets on sale as well. The annual months-long celebration of the medieval time of King Henry VIII is opening up on Saturday, August 26th, and will be open weekends plus Labor Day through October 22nd. There will not be any ticket sales at the gate. It is all online. 
And if past years are any indication, there will be plenty of sold out dates. So my suggestion is to go get them now. And you can usually sell them pretty easily enough later. Renfest.com is where you want to go. And that is Renfest with two N's dot com. Huzzah! Whatever the hell that means. My favorite store for local gifts, Local by Design, just expanded their space at the gallery location on Margaret Avenue. Now they have 6,000 square feet more on Virginia Avenue and are celebrating at the end of the month from July 28th to July 30th. And to celebrate this expansion, Paul Cullen, who is the former badass bassist from Bad Company, who is now a chef and sommelier, who knew, will be on hand with some wine, his guitar, for a very cool performance. All this is free, again, local by design at the gallery on Margaret Avenue. Hopefully you caught our Canines and Crosstrek segment on Friday. Priya is an older Maltese Bichon mix, and she was our guest. We have a post at noon from Friday with some great photos, our SPCA chat, and all of the info on how you can adopt her. And on Saturday, we spoke with Nicole Kelsch from the Ballet Theater of Maryland and learned a whole lot that I had no idea about. You do want to give that one a listen to. And next week, my friend Julie Blanfin is on with Stretch Your Spirit Yoga. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you, first and foremost, and also a quick thank you to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SBCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and Alpha Engineering. Ann Alcina is here with us this morning with her Monday Money Report. And George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecast weather report you're going to find. All that coming up in just a bit, so hang around. It's another exciting weekend of affordable family fun at Prince George's Stadium with the Bowie Bay Sox. Weekend starts on the 21st with our Bowie Pit Beef Night. Come on out and grab a bite. Back-to-back fireworks carry on to Saturday with the Island Luau, a free Bay Sox Hawaiian shirt to the first 750 fans. And it closes on Sunday with Heroes Day. Bay Sox jerseys auctioned off to support local charities. Get your tickets now by calling 301-805-6000 or anytime online at baysox.com. The Bowie Bay Sox, let us be your nine-inning vacation. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend, too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, July 17th. Not a bad weekend for the Annapolis region with some typical summertime heat and humidity, along with a bit of rain as well. And that combination will be the overall theme through Friday with the early expectation for the weekend being very warm and dry conditions. Look for sunny skies today with highs in the low to mid 90s across all of Anne Arundel County, followed by upper 80s to lower 90s Tuesday through Friday with a chance of showers and storms each day with the early expectation for the weekend being sunny skies and highs in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees each day. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. 
Nothing else can make me feel so fine. You work hard for your money. Is your money working hard for you? Managing and investing, it can be confusing. Ann Alsina, a financial planner from Covington Alsina, has been helping people make sense of it all for over 17 years. Are you ready? Now, here's your Monday Money Report. This is Ann Alsina of Covington Alsina with your Monday Money Report. Last week, the market was up as slowing inflation gave rise to hopes that the Federal Reserve Bank will soon stop increasing interest rates. We're starting earnings season as well. So watching how companies' quarterly revenue compares to expectations will be reflected in the market over the next few weeks. And another court order came down, holding that the handwritten will drafted in 2014 and found in Aretha Franklin's couch was valid. She had an earlier will from 2010 that was also handwritten. These types of wills are called holographic wills, and they can create some serious headaches for your family. In this case, it led to a lengthy court battle and animosity between her children. I imagine the one thing most people want when they pass is that their family stays together. But long, simmering family issues can come to a boil when money is involved. Your will is also generally the last thing you will say to your children, and they won't have the chance to ask why you did something. Aside from working with a qualified estate attorney, or at least a reputable online company, what else can you do? Make sure your will is stored properly. You may want to give a copy to your personal representative, the person we used to call an executor. If you don't feel comfortable sharing that now, make certain they know where the original is located. That should not be a safe deposit box that they don't have access to. Your attorney and financial advisor can store copies as well. And for a small fee, you can file your will with the court. With adult children, if you have a sizable estate or if you are dividing your assets unequally, It may be worth a family meeting to explain what your plans are and why. You don't need to disclose how much you have, although letting adult children know that you are comfortable and not relying on them to take care of you can ease their minds. If you have younger children, having a will that appoints a guardian and creates a trust for them is critical. These documents are important, but usually not urgent. Taking the time to do them is a gift to your family and everyone you leave behind. Your action item this week is to check your thermostat. Keep it set between 76 and 78 is ideal for energy efficiency. And each degree above 72 saves about 3% on your cooling costs, according to the Department of Energy. Follow us on Facebook and check out our website at CovingtonAlcina.com for more information and great resources. Covington Alcina is a registered investment advisor. Information presented for educational purposes only and does not intend to make an offer or solicitation for the sale or purchase of any specific securities, investments, or investment strategies. Investments involve risk and unless otherwise stated are not guaranteed. Be sure to first consult with qualified professional advisor and or tax professional before implementing any strategy discussed herein. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. And if you don't have a financial advisor, come talk to us. This is Ann Alcina with Covington Alcina. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.